guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be trying out this kiss acrylic set um, i got it from boots i think you can get it from Superdrug as well in this set comes a little pot of acrylic powder nail glue a brush acrylic liquid and some tips um, so i'm going to try it out and see if it works so the first thing you need to do is get this little cuticle pusher that comes in the box and push back all of your cuticles and scrape off any of the excess skin left on your nail. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is glue on your tips. I like to size out all of my tips for all of my fingers first and then glue them on one by one, but some people like to see which one fits, glue that one on and then move on to the next finger. I just find it easier if I lay all 10 fingers out and then glue them on that way after I've finished sizing them. But I'm just doing that and then gluing them on. As you can see, I used way too much glue on this first one and it spread all the way down through my cuticles and into my nail um, so be careful of when you're doing that not to get the glue everywhere and make the mistake that I just did next I am using nail clippers because I've lost my proper tip cutters I need to purchase some new ones just to cut down the nail to a better size and then filing all around the edges to get it to the desired shape. So after you are finished filing the sides and the free edge, you need to blend the tip to the natural nail and you do this by filing where the tip has been stuck onto the nail. Be really careful not to file your natural nail too much as this can cause long term damage. You're just trying to make the tip the thinnest there so it's not going to be as noticeable and not really difficult to cover up with your acrylic or your gel. So after you have dusted off all of the filings off of your nails, it is time to prime your natural nail. This is going to help the bond be stronger between the acrylic or the gel and your nail. It's also going to prevent lifting and just make the wear a lot longer. This is just a primer that I've purchased myself, it's not in the kit. So if you're bothered about where, then you need to purchase your own primer. I am also just gonna tip this acrylic liquid into the lid. Um, I've also lost my little acrylic liquid dish that I've got my little dappen dish. So I'm gonna have to purchase another one of those. So just for this video, I've just put the acrylic liquid into this um, little lid which I then later did put into a bigger lid because this little lid didn't work very well. This is the brush that is in the kit. It is a very small brush. Um, it's not the same size as a brush that you would buy from um, a nail shop. So that is something else to keep in mind. This is something you need to do if your brush is brand new. You need to repeatedly dip it into the liquid and um, like brush it out again this gets rid of any air bubbles this is the little pot of acrylic powder the color that comes in this kit is clear so I'm just going to dip my brush into the acrylic liquid get a little bit of the acrylic liquid back out of the brush because you don't want your bead too wet Get the bead from the acrylic powder and place it on the nail. I like to start off where the tip is just to really blend that in. This brush was a little bit difficult to work with because it was a lot smaller than a normal acrylic brush. 
but it does get the job done. Make sure that you keep washing your brush and cleaning it in between each bead, otherwise you will get acrylic build up in your brush. When putting the acrylic close to the cuticle, try really hard not to actually get it on your cuticle like I did there, I'm just brushing it off because that will definitely cause lifting but more importantly irritation. It can really hurt your cuticle and your finger to have those chemicals on there. So try really hard not to do that. So far this um, acrylic kit is working really well. It doesn't dry too quickly so you've got plenty of time to move things around if you make mistakes like I am making a few because I'm only new to doing this and it also um, is really easy to move around and the beads when you pick them up aren't too dry or too wet so so far it's a really good kit Now I'm just going back in with a second layer, I only did the first layer very thin because I wasn't sure how the product was going to be the first time I've used it, so I'm just now thickening up the layer of acrylic to make the wear and the bond on the acrylic nail a lot stronger. So as you can see I have thickened up the acrylic, the acrylic now is now thicker. I'm also really imp impressed on how smooth the acrylic has turned out for such a cheap little kit. I think this kit was like £9 or something. It really has come out smooth and really easy to work with so I would recommend buying this kit. So the last step I filmed was just me filing the sides and the free edge and the surface just to keep it nice and smooth and to get ready for the polish that I put on it. Um, I didn't actually film me decorating these nails because I, when I had to go back to decorating them um, the lighting wasn't great because it was at night time and my baby was asleep so I didn't get around to filming it but I did decorate these nails um, just to let you know they stayed on for about a week before one came off and then I just got impatient and took them all off but the rest of them probably would have stayed on a bit longer than that. I definitely recommend this kit, it was a good buy and it's not too bad of a price. Thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye!